Hey, sixth grade, it's Mr. Wagner, um, and I am back with another video. This is the second half of the last video that was on dot plots, and this one is on something called a histogram. Now, a histogram is kind of like an advanced bar graph. Um, it kind of puts together a bar graph with a dot plot, and here I have some data. This is real data. I took this from uh, the time you guys spent on Khan Academy last week. Uh, I'm not going to tell you which class it's from or who's what here, but... Um, this is going to give me a good picture of what my students are doing. And so I thought this would be a good way to show um, data because it's really how it's used. Um, so what a histogram does is, again, we have a number line down here. And I broke my number line up into 25. Now, as always, we have to put what these are. These are minutes, minutes on con. Now, I know that sometimes Khan Academy doesn't get your minutes exactly right, so when I say 25 minutes a day, um, really, if, you, if it shows up as 15 to 20 minutes a day, that's okay with me because I know it doesn't track every single minute on there perfectly, um, but there are some concerning numbers in this data, and I thought it'd be good to show you guys because um, some of you are, are really not even doing the minimal uh, requirements here, and so... Anyway, this is this is how data is used, so I'm making it real. Um, anyway, uh, so what a histogram does is it basically says, "Give me a bin." I call these are called bins. So this would be a bin here from zero to twenty-five, and then the next bin would be from twenty-five to fifty. And so what I'm doing is just like the dot plot, I'm seeing how many students go into each bin. So on this side, we're going to have number of students. So I'm labeling my axes, number of students. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here, look at my data, and see how many students have between 0 and 25 minutes. Well, and I'm going to just cross them out as we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I had 5 students in here. So I'm going to go up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And I'm going to make a bar. All right? Kind of like you're making bar graphs. Sorry, that's something that's just the straightest line. I'll try again. So getting used to this Wacom tablet. There we go. That's better. Um, so that's saying that we have five students. And maybe I should uh, label this side as well and just put this like this is five, four, three, two, one. And now we'll just go to our next interval. So from 25 to 50. Now, this, inc this bar included zero because it starts at zero. This next bar would include 25. So if I had anyone that was exactly 25, they would be in this next bar. So this number basically goes into the next bin. So these are bins, remember. All right, and we're just filling our bins. So from 25 to basically 49, we have one, two, three, four, five again. All right, pretty consistent. So another five. This is some interesting data here. Um, and then we go to the next bin. So from 50 to 75, remember 50 goes in this bin. So one, two, three, four, five again. Uh, this is a really interesting distribution. Every bin has the same. And I chose those 25 minute intervals, remember, because that's what I kind of assigned per day. Next, we have 75 to 100. One, two, three, four, five again. Couldn't make this up. I would not make this data up. Um, and then next, we have 100 to 125. So that'd be one, two. There we go. We're finally not at a five. And then from 125 to 150, we have one person. And then from 150 to 175, we have one person. And then one person, and we had nobody get over that 200 mark. But anyway, so this shows me my data. Most of my students, I would say there's a cluster down here, right? You have a cluster of students that are getting between 0 and 100. Um, now, I really, as a teacher, am looking to see, I want to see you getting more than 75 minutes per week. Because remember, I said I understand that Khan Academy doesn't exactly get the minutes perfectly. And so, if Khan Academy measures 15 minutes a day, that would be 75. Okay? And so I can easily see here that I had 15 students get less than that, that kind of bare minimum. Um, and then the other 10 are over here. And this is what 
<clears throat> a histogram does. It uh, shows the shape of the data. This data is in a shape that we would call skewed to the right because it kind of has this big hump over here and slowly has a tail going to the right. So we would call this skewed right. Um, so in the last video, our data was kind of a normal distribution we talked about where it's symmetrical and this would have a skew to the right. Now, if there was less over here and more over here, that would be a skew to the left. So I hope this was helpful about how to make a histogram, how to read a histogram. We talked about bins, making sure we have our labels, um, all that good stuff. Let me know if you have any questions and I will see you later.